This is my man Van Silk, promoter extraordinaire who got all these groups on tour, just got the world to know who they are and what is what what hip hop is all about, just radio wise, TV wise, record wise. Just well, first of all, I'm glad to see a lot of these brothers. I haven't seen a few years. And I was a big fan of theirs, even though I'm older than all of them. But how much older? Oh. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say I'm 40. I remember all these brothers when they when they was coming up. You know, we all went through some rough times. You know, half of them wanted to kill me. You know, but that's how it was with back in the day. But we had guys that we don't acknowledge, like the Ray Chandlers and the Mike and Dave and all the Armstrongs. You know, and Man Dip Light. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but to me, you know, I was always the one, you know, it was, I was doing shows, you know, and I can't take it away from a lot of other promoters, like AJ, you know, you know, but, um, and I happened to save a lot of the stuff from then, you know. How, how hard was it to promote these, these acts? It wasn't hard. The easy part about it was that you walk down 116th Street or walk up in the Bronx, you had T Connection, you had the PAL, you had Mitchell's Gym. It wasn't hard because once you drop a thousand flyers, you had 5,000 people that knew about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of these young kids don't understand today that they sacrificed at the time that they came in for you to be in this business now the easy way. So you shouldn't even be dumb about this business. Exactly. No publishing and no nothing. And for them to come, you know, together, you know, they still want to be part of this business, but a lot of younger guys don't accept them because they think they're mad at them. Right. They're not mad at them. They just don't want you to be a fool where you don't have to be. Right. Exactly. You know, you're, it should be like Scott pointed out earlier. Why can't some of these groups come up and say, well, listen, man, can't you say a few lines on our records? I mean, y'all are actually repeating what they've done mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Right here, my man Harry Allen, media assassin, Van Silk, promoter at large of the old school, new school, and everything else. This man right here holding the fort down on the set. No L.A. Sunshine representing the Treacherous Three. What's, What's going on? Never done. How you doing? I am fabulous. Where is the rest of the crew? Gotta shout them out first. Special case out of town. Mo D living on the West Coast now, so right. that's my man. Spoonie G, no diggity. Where we at? Keep okay. it up. Okay. What did you want people to say about the Treacherous Three? The S and Three. And were you thinking about? Were you even concerned about this? He launched a career Right. For one, it did. He launched his career. But um, what we wanted out of it more so than anything else was just to have fun. And it may sound cliche, mm. but back then that's what it was about. We wanted to just get up and have fun. Um, the very first party we did and got paid for, we got pizza. And it was totally content. That was your payment? Totally was content. Was I mean, I'm serious for carrying priests and we going to speakers but, and carrying them. We get pizza at the end of the night. We was like, hey, we rock. Did you guys have a lot of contractual drama too? Um, in a nutshell, Yes! Mm -hmm. But I ain't mad at nobody. Okay. I ain't mad at nobody. You know? I took fun? it as a learning experience, for one. You know what I'm saying? And it sounds cliche once again to say that if we didn't go through what we went through, a lot of these brothers that doing their thing now, um, they wouldn't be in the position they are. So I feel good about that. You know, it's the history of black music.